Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. In the mini series of tank level control in factory IO, we have came back with another interesting example that is analog control of tank. Okay, that is tank level control using analog sensors. Okay, in the first two videos we have seen timer based tank level control and two capacitive sensor based tank control. Today we are going to see tank level based on analog sensor. So first of all this station that I have taken from here stations drag and drop over here and it will come like this okay let me show you like this you can rotate it by pressing y and so on so in this way i have brought this tank now right click over here in the configuration you can see i have kept this in analog so first two projects that we have done in digital mode from this project we are going to use analog mode of this tank so analog sensor and analog outputs this is the analog level meter this is analog input filling valve now i have taken this operator panel so what that also you can get from here operators all the things you will get from here so what i have taken that i will show you in detail so first i have taken start button reset button two digital displays that I renamed as set level and present level. How you can rename that? Click on the tag, click over here and you can rename any tag, okay? So I have renamed this. Now there is also configuration. So right click and configuration, you can see I have kept this in integer mode, okay? Both displays. And this is the potentiometer. I also renamed this as tank to set potentiometer okay so this configuration i have kept in 0 to 10 volt input so this is the things you can easily get from here you can just drag and drop you can rotate it by pressing y move in vertical direction by pressing v on keypad like this this i have shown in the, my previous videos so you have to set it up and nothing much different things to do just this panel and this tank as it is okay i have kept this additionally it is not compulsory just for indication purpose i have used so this is all about the factory io designing now i will quickly show you the ladder programming and its simulation so i assume you already know how to create project in tia portal and uh, copy paste the sample factory io linking files and all if you don't know that Please watch our previous videos because that are repetitive and time taking steps. So I have skipped that and directly I will show you the simulations. So still if I summarize what I have done. First of all I copy pasted function block. This function block from the sample file. Sample TIA file for linking with factory IO. Then we have to you compile that and use this in our main OBs. This is my main OB. So how you can get this, drag this box over here and write in the box FC9000. So it will appear like this. After that, start writing your programming. Compile all your function block main OB from here. Compile, okay. From the here, PLC tags, default tag table, you can write comments of input output. Then you have to start your PLC simulator like this and download it. After downloading. Click on go online button and start monitoring and you will see window like this. Now uh, what are the ladder programming that I am going to explain you step by step. So let us start but before that in the factory IO we have to go to drivers. You have to click on connect over and when you will be connected this green sign will come. Now we have to connect our input and outputs over here. So in this project what i have this is my tank 2 so i renamed it the button as start button 2 and reset button 2 now i have two analog inputs first is the tank 2 level meter so that i will connect it to id 30 that is my analog input okay and then 
potentiometer through which I will set my set point that I will connect it to over here ID 34. Okay. Similarly, in the outputs, I have used for wall, filling wall is the main output. So, here because everything is analog, so tank to fill wall that I have connect over here, this is I have taken in the programming QD30. After that, I have taken two displays. Okay. So, I have to check uh, which one is my set and uh, reset value. So, this is the tank level. So, you can see this is 38 is my tank present level display and 34 is my tank set display. So, 38 is my present level and QD34 is my set point. Okay. That display. Almost everything is set up over here. Clearly, I will check for the potentiometer also. So, potentiometer is 34. Okay. So, here, okay, this is done. Now, I can start my simulation and I will minimize this window so we can see both programming and factory IO. So, here I have to first let us see our initial steps. So, simply to know whether the system is on or off, I have taken this bit Q0.0 uh, that I set and reset with start and reset button. Okay. Now, this is very important tutorial for you because for the further topics of PID control, flow control, we will basics from here that is how to get analog inputs, tank level and potentiometer. And this will be also helpful if you are doing any hardware project, analog sensor with Siemens PLC. So, first of all, we have to normalize our any input. So, what I have taken over there, tank level sensor. So, tank level sensor, that input I have to normalize. So, how I get this block? Again, you drag and drop this block box from here and write norm x and double click over it. So, this box will open. In the minimum value, I have kept 0 and maximum 10.0 because factory IO is giving value in form of 0 to 10. If you are doing hardware project, you are connecting a real sensor to PLC at that time in the maximum value we will write 27,648 because that is how it consider 0 to 10 volt. If you give 10 volt to PLC input analog input that will be converted to decimal value 27,648. Right now for a factory IO we will write 0, 0.0 and 10.0. So, when the water will be filled, this tank level will come. So, after the normalizing, what it does, it will convert our input in 0 to 1 form, means like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, up to 1, like we say in percentage, 50 means 50 percentage, like that. So, that is normalized. After that, we scale. So, what we scale, level is giving me 0 to 10 volts. So, that I have to convert in 0 to 300 centimeter. So, here what I have taken MD0 is my normalized output coming from the NOMEX. Here you can see MD0 after normalizing tank level sensor. So, here I will scale from minimum 0 to maximum 300 value and that will be stored in MD2. Okay, this is just a data register. Okay, here I will store and this thing I will also move to QD38 so it can be shown to digital display. Same thing I have done with the potentiometer. So, I have connected potentiometer at ID 34. Now, again potentiometer will give me 0 to 10 volt. So, factory IO will also give me 0 to 10 over here. I have to normalize it in 0 to 1 format and that will be stored to MD4. MD4 will be coming to here. Now, how I will set? So, again my set point will also be in centimeters 0 to 300. So, in the scale x I have a minimum 0 and maximum 300. Important thing over here while you will do programming, you have to remember uh, when I am doing normalizing, here both I have kept real in normalizing and in the scaling I have kept input as real, output as double integer. And in factory IO also in the drivers configuration, I have kept double word. So, you can see this is double integer, uh, this is double word. 
this settings you have to remember otherwise you will get some other value over here and then you will think why it is not giving like 0 to 300 values like that so this thing you have to remember data types then only a proper value will come so i hope you understand what i did with potentiometer and tank level sensor input just normalizing scaling and moving it to digital display so this was now i will show you one working example so we will zoom in so obviously in the system first what we do we set value so this is the set value display that you can see qd34 i will move over here first potentiometer value is coming to here so i will move potentiometer it will give some value that will be going to scaling function and it will scale from 0 to 300 value so if i uh, move this potentiometer to the full it can go up to zero now this is stored say for example uh, 150 149 this is my set value set value is stored now okay where it is stored it is stored in md36 now what is happening uh, when i will fill valve will not instantly off at 150 so some more water will poured into tank so i have to offset that say for example my set point is 150 so i have to turn off valve at 140 so it maintains 150 so what i have done from the set point that is my md6 i have subtracted 10 from it from my set point and now my new set point is offset at set point md8 okay so you can see i have set point 149 here it is 139 so i have subtracted 10 so valve will be stopped at 139 how valve will on and stop so when i press the start button it will do comparison okay what it will do comparison of present value that is qd38 how this value have came okay i have shown you before normalizing scaling tank level sensor tank level sensor will be the tank present value and this is my offset set point that is 139 when the system is on present level is less than equal to set point in the tank filling wall i will move 10 okay because this is the analog so i have to give 10 voltages to it again if you are doing the hardware project then we will move 27648 for giving 10 volts here just writing 10.0 okay if you will just write 10 wall will not work you, this is the floating value so we have to write 10.0 and valve will be fully on now when the value is reached so what we have to do we have to move zero in this valve to turn it off so there are the two positions either the present value is greater than set point or reset button is pressed move zero in tank valve so i hope you understand normalizing scaling function so let's start our simulation 149 is our set point i'll press the start button because the present level is less than set point tank is filling you can see present level is rising over here this is the present level it will go up to 149 that is our set point near about our value let us see you can see almost about value if we don't put the offset subtraction it will overshoot so why this stopped okay let me increase the set point first reset this now let me increase the set point 245 okay so on operation we have seen from here because present value is less than set value it is moving when this will achieved it will move zero you can see this value is achieved so it move zero in this and the wall is stopped okay you can see wall is stopped so this was the tank level control based on the analog sensor and potentiometer the value you give by potentiometer it will fill the tank up to that value i hope friends you like this video if you want to learn more examples like this just show your interest by liking and subscribing our youtube channel meet you in the next video with another interesting example that is tank level control based on pid controller i hope you will be interested in this so let's meet you in the next video